is uh, really trying to push the boundaries in building envelope technology to achieve um, a very high efficiency house um, designed for uh, the extremes of a northern climate. The contemporary wisdom says that uh, buildings in a northern climate need to have heavy, thick, insulated walls um, with a low ratio of window to wall between 30 and 40 percent. Uh, one of the starting points for the design of North House was to turn this convention on its head and to look at how we could get a building with 75 plus percent glass ratio. This is mainly achieved by uh, a design philosophy in which we call TRES, Distributed Responsive Envelope System. It's, uh, it's like the metaphor of how you dress in layers in the winter. Um, this house has the same philosophy. Starting from the inside of the system, we have a heavy insulated wall at the north facade of the building. Um, that's where most of your heat is lost. Because there is a lot of glass in the building, and because at certain times it's important to have the exterior shades open um, so that we're getting the solar heat gain, the interior shades act to reduce glare and to provide privacy. The next layer is the glass system. It's an insulated glazing unit which is comprised of panes of glass on the inside and outside and then uh, the interior two layers are a mylar film. One of the other innovative parts of the glass is that we're trying to allow as much heat in as possible. Conventional practice wants to reflect a lot of that heat away because um, we don't want to deal with the cooling load but in this house we want to harvest heat and use it. It's a stick frame system that we can assemble with different components on site. Um, we're hoping to assemble the entire glass facade in about six hours uh, when we're down in Washington. Uh, in order to do this, um, we have um, the back layer of glass on the glazing system is extended beyond the edge of the uh, whole unit by about a quarter of an inch. And this allows us to use a nylon stopper um, so that when we lay them in, the nylon stopper grabs those edges of glass and when we screw it in, it holds them in place. The next layer of the system um, is one of the more innovative, and that is our exterior Venetian system. It is a series of uh, exterior Venetian lines that are motorized, and they're the primary way that we can passively heat and cool this house. As the sun rises, blinds on the east side of the building close, blocking direct sunlight from entering the envelope. During the day, the envelope responds to the movement of the sun closing and opening to let in the optimal amount of sun. They also can customize the blind setting to meet privacy needs depending on the time of day. For example, if the user wanted to host a dinner party, the blinds near the dining table can be closed to provide privacy and optimal lighting in the house. Another example would be at night. The occupants can close the blinds near their bed to ensure total privacy. In the winter months, the blinds can be fully retracted, allowing for a maximum heat gain. As well, in the summer months, the blinds can be fully deployed, reflecting and shading the building envelope to cool the interior space. By having two-stage operation, which essentially means that the bottom of the blinds and the top of the blinds can be operated separately, you can allow people to have a little bit more control over, over their environment without compromising the performance. The uh, final layer of the system is uh, what we call the exterior veil, and uh, is a fabric veil um, that provides a sculptural expression for the facade um, that constantly moves and changes. This additional layer just helps to further diffuse the light and then further control unwanted heat gain when the shades are down. At night as well, it provides um, the host.